hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video and it's titled jordan peterson destroys entire planet on transgender pronouns and you guys i'm super excited as always if i had to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what jordan peterson has for us in this video uh, well um there are lots of places now where the workplace has become i would say excessively politicized and so people who have viewpoints and this also involves includes I would say fairly radical leftist viewpoints, people don't feel comfortable at all in, in, in being able to use the language of their choice or to have even opinions about a variety of different things. That's and true. So, um, and I've had three clients who I would say have been, we'll say, harassed, I suppose is the right way of putting it. On social um, media or otherwise? No, at work, at work, at work, at work by people who, who don't like their political opinions, essentially. And Gordon, so. let's do one more question here and then we'll get everybody else into the conversation. You know, of course, that since this story broke, you've been called a lot of things. Yeah. Um, one of which is a transphobe. Yeah. Some people have accused you of um, using the free speech issue to mask what's really going on here, which is an attempt to deprive other people of what they believe are their legitimate rights. Well, I, and I want I to give you the opportunity to speak to whether or not you are a transphobe. Well, I can tell you that I've received more letters from transsexual people supporting me than mm, opposing that's me. That's interesting. And I never said anything really about transsexual people, about their existence, although that was the first thing that I was accused of doing. I didn't say that transsexual people didn't exist. I said that gender identity, gender expression, and biological sex do not vary independently, which they don't. And so, Oh, this issue is in some sense only peripherally about, about transsexual issues. It's more centrally about gender issues. And then on top of that, and I think it's the biggest issue, is, is that it's a free speech issue. Okay, so. let us continue to explore all of those issues that you have just raised. And um, why don't we do this? Pan gender, queer gender, gender fluid, cross-dresser, bi-gendered, gender blender, and the list goes on. And Nicholas, this is where I want to bring you into the discussion because you teach this, you mm -hmm. teach trans studies. So if you would, give us a brief primer on so many gender identities that in your view require non-traditional pronouns. Basically, it's not correct that there is such a thing as biological sex. And I'm a historian of medicine. I can unpack that for you at great length if you want, but in the interest of time, uh, I won't. So that's a very popular misconception. Um, and I'm sure, I mean, I would hope that if I were a, a student of Dr. Peterson, that he would refer to me as, a, um, as she and wouldn't have a problem with that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, a personal pronoun preference still is a preference for what language other people use. And at the end of the day, I don't uh, have ultimate control of, over what Dr. Peterson uh, what the language he chooses to use, or anybody else for that matters, that's that's up to them. Okay, let me and find the out then. Arises, let me let me find out. If she were a student of yours, what would you call her? <laughs> she. You would. Okay. That's crazy. We've established that. Uh, I think we've set the table now. You want to get in on this now? I can tell. You've heard what the professor has to say. What's your response? Well, exactly. I don't understand what the claim that there's no such thing as biological sex means. You guys, I don't know why that professor said whatever he said. Because everyone knows what the truth is. And I love Jordan Peterson's point of view. I love where he stands with this topic. Let me know what you guys think about this video so far. What are your thoughts on this? Leave them in the comment section down below. And you guys, let's continue. And I certainly think it's let's call it an error to suggest that there's some si sort of scientific consensus about that. I mean, there's, there's biological differences between males and females in animals and human beings at every level of analysis well, from what, them. Okay, I'm jumping in here. Yeah. Because what, what about the notion he put forward at the end there that if you do not refer to people with the pronoun that they prefer to be referred to, that is a form, according to the Human Rights Commission, of discrimination. It's a not just a form of discrimination, it's a form of hate speech. That's why I made the video. I said mm -hmm. that we were in danger of uh, placing 
uh, the refusal to use yeah. certain kinds of language into the same category as Holocaust denial and suggested that maybe that wasn't such a good idea, especially since there's plenty of debate to be had about gender issues in our society, which I also think are also in danger of becoming illegal and quite rapidly. So it isn't clear to me how long we'll be able to have the talk that we're having right now. Could I speak to the campus climate about this? Because I don't, uh, I don't agree with why Dr. Peterson has been asked to stop abusing students on campus. To stop doing what? Abusing students. I see. And other members of our learning community who do deserve respect and do deserve to be able to work and learn and contribute to society mm. in a place where if they are physically assaulted, if they are... Um, the assault so far came from the social justice warriors who are at this free speech rally, and almost two million people have watched those accurate. so far. This is not accurate. Well, you can look you at the videos yourself. Because yeah. people have been making complaints about your behavior. Yes, I understand that. Yes. Yep. And so we're can seeing a greater opportunity here, for social justice happening Nick, that many be, people won't understand. Nick, can I be clear on something? You, you've accused him of abusing students by not using the pronouns they want to be addressed That's by. That's how I see it, absolutely. That is tantamount to abuse in your view? Absolutely. Many, many global documents, many How organizations. About violence? Is it tantamount to violence? Yes. How absolutely. about hate speech? Is it tantamount to yes, hate speech? Yes, of course. It's hate speech Fine, to tell someone that you won't refer to them as a in a way that mm -hmm. they uh, that recognizes their humanity and dignity. This is a minor issue in some ways compared to the larger issue that's at stake, which is there are right to have discussions of this sort at all. Like, I mean, one thing that happened right when we started this was that there was an initial claim, for example, that there's no such thing as biological sex. Well, I believe quite firmly that if we continue on our present path at the universities for five more years, that's a discussion we will not actually be able to have on campuses. Because, because it will be... By fiat, I mean, the legislation already implicitly presumes that, that biological sex, gender identity, and gender expression, which we haven't even talked about yet, vary independently. That is simply not true. It's when people sometimes become politicized is when they realize that no matter what wow. they do in the world, there will be people who will continue to attack them mm -hmm. on racist grounds, on gender and sexual violence grounds, and that's why people start to fight back, and that's why people object. And your, but attempts, on, and your attempts to regulate my language use and... I don't care about your language use. I care about the safety of the people who are being harmed. I know. Well, pe people who make your kinds of arguments are always concerned with other people's safety. I'm concerned that, with my own safety. My, just so that people are aware, my physical, emotional life and livelihood is at risk from being here. And that's not in true of everyone. To mine, say. I don't know about yours because yes, I don't you do. live you know your life. Perfectly well about mine. I do you know, know that you have tenure. The and that wow, you guys, I can't believe that it has gotten to this level whereby universities are now talking about gender ideology. This is, this is beyond me because I don't even know what Dr. Peterson said that is so wrong. It's not mandatory that you should address people by their pronouns or whatever it is that they are identifying as. Because if I see a person that looks like a man, I'm definitely going to call that person a man. That's why the fact that the person might be wearing a wig or a makeup. And the most baffling thing about this whole argument is the fact that the professor does not want to own the fact that they are just two biological sexes, but he wants to keep pushing this gender ideology. You guys, this is so, so infuriating. But let me know your thoughts on this one. What are your thoughts on this particular subject that was discussed in this video? Do you think that Dr. Peterson was right by standing on what he believed in? Or the other professor's ideology was also valid. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I really had fun reacting to this video. If you guys totally enjoyed watching, give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.